Hi everyone, I'm Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing just a short sequence to get a little more energized, to move the chi, our life force, our blood in the body, just get things a little moving, make the body a little more happy and a little less grumpy. So find a chair with a nice, stable, firm um, bottom here. And you'll see today, I don't have any arms on my chair. I like that personally because uh, it gives me a little bit more movement in the spaces that I have on the sides. But if your chair has handles, you know, sometimes that works for you because it gives you stability as well. So always remembering whenever we practice, you're only going to do things that are going to make you happy. Anything that feels uncomfortable, you will stop or slow down. Okay, let's get started. We're going to have our feet hip width distance apart on the ground. Your knees will be on top of the ankles. Your shoulders should be right on top of the waist. To get our practice started, let's have our hands on top of our thighs. We're gonna draw the belly in, belly in, live through the crown of the head with a nice tall spine. I'd like you to relax your shoulders and let's take a nice deep breath in and out. It's always nice to start your practice connecting to your body and connecting to your breath. Let's breathe in again, inhaling. And let's exhale out. One more time, inhaling. And exhale, breathe out. This allows us to connect to our breath and our body and arrive right here in this moment, on this chair and in our bodies. Let's do that with our arms now, inhaling arms up, and then exhale, take your hand to the heart. Breathe out. Ah, nice tall spine, please. Breathing in. Exhale, relax those shoulders, but tall spine. Breathe out. One more time, breathing in. And exhale, breathe out. Now let's take the hands up the midline. Breathing in, tall spine. Maybe draw belly in a little bit more. And exhale, open up those arms. Breathe out. Okay, again, breathing in, arms up. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, breathe out. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, arms up, tall spine. And exhale, breathe out. Good, let's have our hands down in front of us and let's go for our seated cow pose. So we're going to open up our chest, lift our heart up to the sky, roll the shoulders back and down, breathe in, and then exhale, bring those fingertips to the front of your knees, draw the belly back, round up the back, breathe out. Okay, again, breathing in, seated cow pose, exhale, breathe out, seated cat pose. Again, breathing in, seated cat, Exhale, ah, seated cow pose. Perfect, come on back to a neutral spine. Let's take the left arm all the way up. We're high five, give me an air five here. Breathe out, relax, relax and release. Other side, breathing in, lift up that tall spine, lift up that arm and breathe out. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time on each side. Breathing in, breathing out, relax your top shoulder, breathing in and breathe out. Let's take the hands to the side. Let's take both arms up. High 10 to the heavens here, up to the sky. Breathe out, release, breathe out. Okay, again, breathing in. Maybe gently looking up, opening up the chest a bit. Exhale, breathe out. Three times a charm, one more time. Breathing in, high 10 to the sky. Breathe in and breathe out. Now we will alternate the arms. So we're gonna take that left arm up and I want you to reach that right arm below. Okay, so reach and lengthen. Inhale, and then exhale, we're switching. Now extend, breathing in, lengthening the right fingertips up and the left fingertips down. Inhale, and then exhale, release, relax. Again, breathing in, reach, lengthen, and then release. Other side, breathing in, reach, and lengthen below and then exhale, let's lower that top hand down. Good, let's roll the shoulders out. I love these shoulder rolls. 
Do you like them too? Let's breathe as we do this. So rolling them out. Three, two, are you breathing? And one. Okay, let's do that with our arms too now. So I'm gonna do just gentle little circles. So not big rotations, not just yet. I'm rotating them outward. Depending on how the body feels, we're gonna see if we can make those arm circles much bigger, okay? Now, if this is too much for you, then you're gonna drop one arm, um, hold onto one shoulder, and just articulate. The rest of you are gonna be doing continuing with those arm circles, okay? And then the other, and then if you've done the one side, you're gonna to switch to the other, good. Now, of course, you can take breaks. I'm sure you're already feeling fatigue if you've been doing those arm circles. Good, don't forget to breathe. Now release. Let's go ahead and shrug those shoulders up, breathe in, and then release. <sighs> Again, breathing in, release. Whew. One more time, breathing in, and release. <sighs> Let's take those arms all the way up. Big breath, big arms. Inhale, looking up to the fingertips, and exhale, take them back to your heart. Breathe out. Let's do that two more times. Breathing in, arms up, chest up, and exhale, hands to the heart. Breathe out. One more time, three times a charm. Inhale, arms up, and then exhale, hands to the heart. Great. Now let's go ahead and shake out those arms, okay? And let's start to work them a little bit more. Let's take the arms out. Now try to relax those shoulders as much as you can. If the elbows are lower than your shoulders, that's perfectly fine. If you want to extend them so that they are in line with your shoulders, go ahead and do that. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed and you're feeling good about this. I want you to take your right hand and bring it all the way across and pretend you're brush stroking across here. Breathe in. And I want you to take that brush stroke and brush your arm all the way across. Exhale out. <sighs> Okay, all the way up, other side, inhaling and exhaling. Okay, again, breathing in, exhaling out, brush strokes. Breathing in and exhale, breathing out. Ooh, strengthening those arms, take the arms all the way up. Inhale, lift, exhale, breathe out. Awesome, let's roll. Um, not roll, but shake out rather those arms. My brain was already ahead of me. Now we're going to roll out those wrists. Is that amazing? The brain is going too uh, ahead of the body. Okay, so we're going to roll out those wrists and let's do it the other way. Breathe. <sighs> okay, let's interlace those fingers any which way possible that feels comfortable for you and go ahead and roll out those wrists. I don't know if my microphone is picking this up, but my wrists are clickety clackety today, which means to me, I need to be doing this more often. That's what it's telling me. I need to be putting more chi and blood into these wrists. They need more love. Okay, let's go ahead and do our roller coaster here. Okay, and see if you can do it the other way. So I call this a roller coaster. Some of you call it the worm. Others call it their usual dance uh, moves on the dance floor. Okay, so have you switched sides? Awesome. Let's take it all the way up. I want you to reach up, draw the belly in, look up to the palm of your hands, inhale here, and then exhale, release the fingers. <sighs> Relax the shoulders, breathe out. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and play the piano all the way up to the sky, all the way up to those heavens. Whee! And let's go ahead and sway to the side. So I'm going to the right, my left, but your right. Come on back all the way up. I'm wiggling, wiggling, playing those fingers on this imaginary piano to the sky. And I'm going to the other side. Stretch. Ooh, that feels good. Come on all the way back up. Breathe in. And then exhale. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All the way down. Whoosh. Now just relax. Take a breath here. Notice what you feel and how you're feeling where you're feeling it. So breathe in. <sighs> Maybe a little tingly down the arms, right into the fingers and the wrists. Awesome. Let's take the um, hands to the sides of the body. Now, let's go ahead and take the right arm all the way up for a nice long lengthened stretch and breathe out to the side. Ooh, nice. 
Breathing in, back to center, and release. Relax the shoulders. Breathing in, and exhale, breathe out. So it's very important here, please. Relax that top shoulder, relax that bottom shoulder. Just stretching into the side of the body. Come on back up, breathing in, and release. Okay, let's do that two more times on each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, lift, exhale, release. Other side, breathing in, exhale, breathe out. Inhale, back up, breathe out. Okay, one more on each side. Inhale, lift, exhale, to the side, smile. Loving the side stretch. Come on back up, breathing in, breathing out. Other side, breathing in, and exhale, breathe out. Ooh. Inhale, lift, and exhale, release. Okay, now let's go ahead and take the right arm. Instead of having the palm facing our body, I want you to have an outward palm. So it's kind of like you're going all the way up, palm is out, so like a stop, 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 stop sign all the way up. And then we're going to bend our elbow and sway to the side. So it's a little bit different of a stretch into that arm. And so see, my palm is up. Good. Come on back up and release. Whew. Let's do the other side. All the way up. Big stop all the way up. And bend that elbow. A different kind of stretch. Try to still relax that shoulder. Ooh. Stretch. Breathe. Come on back up. In and release. Okay, can we do it two more times on each side? Breathe in, breathing out, bend that elbow, stretch the body. It's so different, isn't it? Breathing in, breathing out, other side, all the way up, and stretch, breathe out, Ooh. breathing in, breathing out. One more on each side. Let's even out the body three times each way, each style. Come on back up, in, and out with the breath. Last bit here, in. Ooh, open up that chest and the side of the body. Good, come on back up and breathe out. Whew. Now, let's roll out the shoulders. Three, two, one, perfect. Now from here, I'd like you to work on our necks because I'm sure like the whole shoulder thing has kind of activated stuff. So let's go ahead and look to our right. Breathe in here. Out, come on back to center, let's go to the other side. Tall spine, don't forget, don't slouch. Breathe in and out. Come back to center, let's take our right ear to the right shoulder. And if you've done any of my other videos, you'll know sometimes I like to send energy through the opposite hand, give a little oomph to that neck stretch. Breathe in and let's release, breathe out. Okay, other side, inhaling, exhaling. Let's send out energy through the opposite fingers. Inhale, exhale, release. Okay, let's go ahead and draw the chin in. So not just like squeezing your chin into the chest, but rather pull the ears back toward your shoulder blades. Pull that neck in chin tuck and lengthen the back of your neck. This is so wonderful, especially for all the times that you're on your device, okay? So pull that neck in, breathe in and out. Now you can drop the chin and then go ahead and look all the way up. Okay, good. Now come back to a neutral neck and see if you can do gentle, slow, rotation of the neck. Nice and slow. Okay, so I'm gonna do three, one way. Ooh, that was two and three. Don't forget to breathe, because sometimes when our head is down, we have a tendency to get dizzy. So whenever the head's down, when we come up, we breathe in. And then exhale as we're on the lower end. Breathe out. Inhaling. And out. Good. That felt great. Let's go ahead and take the shoulders up. Breathe in. And drop them. Again, breathing in. And out. Good. 
Now, I always like to give myself a little self-massage here. So what I'm doing is I'm actually taking my hand and I'm gonna grip onto the arm and I'm going to grip on the inside and the outside. Did you notice I started on the outside? And then I'm gonna come across, just do a little pat, 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 and I'm just giving myself a little squeeze, love squeeze, like, hello, love you, love your body. You know, studies have shown that if you speak nicely to yourself, then that's gonna be really great in healing. Okay, so really nice positive thoughts, please. Now I'm gonna tap all the way down, all the way up, come across, down, up. This is great because we're, what we're doing is we're working on stimulating and moving um, the chi and the blood of our meridians. Okay, so now you're seeing that I'm pressing into the outside, the yang meridians and the yin meridians. Okay, come all the way across, breathing in and out. We're gonna do that one more time. So now this is three times on this side. Ooh, that feels really good. Breathe. Ah, and then release. Ooh, let's go ahead and take our hands on top of our thighs. Open up the chest, breathing in. Exhale, breathe out. Ooh, that's a nice cow and cat here. Again, breathing in and out. One more time. Again, breathing in and out. Okay. Now we've worked the upper body, which was the most important part of the body that I wanted to work on in this sequence today. But the bottom part of the body gets a little bit jealous because this all feels nice and stimulated and there's chi and blood moving and everything feels warm and activated. But now the bottom part of our body feels a little bit neglected. So we're gonna do a little bit on the lower part of the body and then we'll finish off with a gentle twist and then we'll be done, okay? So let's take our hands to the sides of the chair and you'll notice I'm gonna scooch my sits bones a little bit forward on the front of the chair so that I am more stable. Why do I do that? Because I want my feet to be really solidly planted on the ground, okay? Now you may not have to do that and that's okay. So just make sure both sits bones are rooted into your chair and you have your hands to the sides. Let's go ahead and take our legs out, okay? We're gonna extend that right foot out and then release, perfect. Extend the left leg out and then release. Okay, so we're gonna do that two more times. Breathing in, breathing out, inhaling, exhaling, chest up, tall spine, inhale, relax those shoulders, breathing out. Other side, breathing in, breathing out, perfect. Now, with both sit bones rooted onto the earth, I want you to go ahead and grab onto the shin of your right, uh, your right leg. Pull that up, give you a little squeeze, okay? Again, both sit bones are on the, the, the rooted into the chair. We're gonna breathe in, and I want you to round the back. Breathe out. Good. Inhale, lift, tight belly, and then release. Ooh, we really need to work that core a little bit. Let's do the other side. Inhale, tight, um, Pardon me, long lengthened spine here, breathe in, and then let's crunch it down, and then tight belly, lift up, and release. Okay, well done. Now, let's go ahead and grab that leg again, lift it up, and I want you to cross the leg over here. So the ankle is on top of the thigh, not on the kneecap, not anywhere near it, but on the thigh. We're gonna sit nice and tall. You may feel that there's a little something happening here on the hip. Well, that's actually a good thing. We're gonna work into that hip. Of course, if that's too uncomfortable, then you're going to omit this part completely, okay? But if it's like a grumpy, tight feeling, then maybe you might wanna just hold it here and kind of gently breathe into this pose so we can work and open into this area. I want you to breathe here. Now, for those of you who want a little bit more, we're going to hinge at the waist and come forward. When you feel something a little bit more into this hip area, I want you to round the upper back and melt, breathing here. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath in and out. Now with a nice tight belly, press up. So engage your belly muscles to support your lower back, 
press up. Tight belly, breathe in, 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 and exhale, breathe out. Well done. We're gonna release that leg and place it down. Let's do the other side, okay? Pull that knee into the chest, and then let's go ahead and cross that leg. Remember, the ankle is on top of the thigh. Okay, so you'll notice immediately one side may be different than the other. So honor and respect the body, do what's best for you, okay? We're gonna just hold it here. I want you to try to melt and relax, surrender to this pose, soften a little bit everything down here. Breathe in and out, okay? Inhaling and let's hinge at the waist, come forward with a nice flat back and ooh, I'm feeling something right here in this hip. I'm going to round my upper back so I don't put any strain on my lower back. And I'm gonna round it and breathe here. Melting, inhaling, exhaling, breathing in and out. And with a nice tight belly, supporting your lower back, inhale, engage that belly, breathe in, breathe in, tight belly, tight belly, and then exhale, release. Whew, perfect. We're gonna release that leg and let it go. Great. Now let's take our hands back down to support with the support of the chair. Now if you wanted to hold onto the chair or you feel that you're super strong now, you're tight, your belly's nice and engaged here, maybe your hands are free. Let's kick that right leg out. Breathe in and release. Take, engage your belly muscles, tall spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, inhaling, breathing out. Again, breathing in and out. Well done. Let's go ahead, give a little uh, jiggle and tap. Okay? Now, arms all the way up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take your hands to the sides. Breathe in and then exhale with nice gentle pressure. I want you to press down on the sides of your legs. Good. And with a nice tight belly again, you already know how to do this. With a nice tight belly, breathe in, but this time hands on the inside of the thighs, come on up. Breathe in, come on up. And then roll the shoulders back. Okay, two more times. Breathing in, arms up. Exhale, hands to the sides. Inhale, exhale, push down on the sides of the body. Breathe out. Inhale, hands on the inside of the legs, come on up. Breathe in and release. Last one, breathing in, touch, breathing out, breathe in, exhale, pressure into the sides of the legs, breathe out, tight belly as you come up, inhale, press on up, hands on the inside of the legs, and exhale, Whew. well done. Take a notice, what are you feeling now? Inhaling, exhaling. What do you feel and where do you feel it? Are you feeling a little bit tingly, sensation down the legs, things are activated and moving, hopefully. Okay, perfect. From here, we're going to go for a little twist. So I'd like you to take your right hand to the outside of your, um, pardon me, your left hand to the outside of your right thigh, and the other hand's gonna come nicely behind you. Relax the shoulders, breathe in to lengthen, and then exhale, gently twist. Now in these twists, we never want to grind into our sits bones. We're allowing the hips to relax and we're opening up and moving and twisting into our thoracic spine. Breathe in, lengthen, exhale, twist. Great, one more time, breathing in and exhale, twist. Okay, from here, stay in the twist. Let's go ahead and look over that opposite shoulder. Relax the shoulders. And you'll notice that my eyes are closing. I do that because it helps me to relax and settle into this posture a little more deeply. So breathe in here with your eyes closed. Exhale out. One more time, breathing in and out. To come out of this pose, we will breathe in and then on the unwind, breathe out. Whoosh. Let's do the other side. So take your left hand now to the outside of that. Left, not the left hand. Pardon me, I'm doing the right and the left and the opposite of you. You will take your right hand to the outside of your left thigh 
the opposite hand behind you. Breathe in, lengthening all the way up. Tall spine, sit up tall, breathe out, twist. Okay, relax your shoulders. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Again, breathing in, lift, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Great. Okay, stay in that twist. Let's go ahead and look over that opposite right shoulder. Soften here. Close your eyes. Relax your tongue. A relaxed tongue sends a signal to the brain, I am relaxed. So close your eyes. Relax your tongue. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhaling. Exhale. And inhaling. Exhale. Unwind. Well done, everyone. Let's close our practice with another cow and cat. So open up the chest. Breathe in. Maybe you feel like you're a little more flexible than the original one. Breathe out. Again, breathing in and breathing out. So I want to encourage you at the end of this practice to just have a couple moments of silence and quiet for yourself. Close your eyes, breathe, and notice how you feel. Did the physical practice of yoga, has it helped you to release a little bit of tension, a little bit of stress out of the body? Take a few breaths here, inhaling, exhaling out. Really relish in this moment that you've taken for yourself. Breathe in. Well done, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. If you liked this um, yoga sequence, please do subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you will be notified on all of my new videos. I look forward to hearing from you. Please do comment and I'd love to hear from you. Peace.